This your boy, JG. AB. Definitely in the building. We're going to do a quick seven on seven NFL questions. I'm running it by my man. Let's get into it right now. Welcome back, y'all. This is Exaggeration Experience, your boy JG, AB in the building. And so I wanted to take a different approach to the NFL. Normally, Cass is breaking down coverages and who's going to the bench. Did you see what Jared Goff did? No, we ain't playing none of those games. We do something a little different. My man, fantasy aficionado, does his things. He gets paper. Can't be mad at that. Um, by paper, I mean like printer paper. He's not getting any cheese. I, I get bread. Uh, yeah, he's talking about French bread. Um, De Niro. But um, I have my man pop this open real quick. I'm going to hit him over the head with seven questions. Questions he doesn't know. But we're going to test his knowledge. Some serious, some not. And we're going to get into it right this second. AB, are you ready? Yep. Question number one. Do you know who the good teams are in the NFL? Now, before you answer that question, right. what is a good team? I mean, you see a cat blow somebody out. You're like, damn, they good. Or you see a cat just get folded like laundry, but they was 4-0 when it happened. Do you know any good teams in the NFL? Yeah, I think it's uh, uh, me being, uh, like you said, fantasy. Uh, what was it? Uh, Aficionado. Ah, there we go. A uh, two-time reigning fantasy champion, by the way. Um, I can say that by this midway point, uh, a lot of patterns have already developed. So you know what to look for. Not just record. You're not looking at teams with inflated records that they've played, you know, low-level teams. You're looking at teams that have been through the fire facing good teams and good matchups and seem to come out on the other side um yeah i know i know a few uh, uh san francisco looks really good this year the defense looks solid Shout uh, out to Jimmy Grass. new england i mean that's scary that tom brady actually has a defense that's more than capable tom this year 74 years old um and uh who else we got oh, seattle seahawks as much as this guy would hate to to shout them out they're mv uh, russell wilson's playing mvp caliber right now shout out russell wilson but um, we're not co-signing that uh who else do we have we have other teams that are kind of under the radar but they're playing good houston texans okay Shout out uh, to you got your uh new york jets are back shout out sam donald back from the uh out there kissing strangers shout out, shout out lego head man we're uh we're no no but yeah you can you can tell which teams are what right about now okay i like it all right we gonna switch it up this is about an individual player are you prepared <clears throat> i think so is Christian McCaffrey the best white running back of all time? <laughs> um, of all time? Of all time, I, all time, all time right now. He is over 900 yards from scrimmage as of today. No, I wouldn't say of all time. I got to wow. do my research. I'm one of those that I have to do my research. Going off of recent memory, yes. And the fact that before you guys start crying, oh, why he's talking about color, because it's, it's significant. Okay, anytime a black quarterback does amazing, it's a big deal. I don't know where he's Historically, going to. that position has been white has been white guys there. They've been really good at that position. So when you see black quarterback come in, it's amazing. So same thing for running back. Usually between the tackles, great running backs have been African American. Now you get this white guy who is just killing it. Um so I'll do my research, but for now, yes, he is the best white running back. All right, that leads me right into my next question. You kind of bled into it a little bit. So my next question, do you know any other white running backs, period? Any time <laughs> error, anybody? Let me think. Uh, they're, I do, but they're not you, good. You can include like fullbacks as well if, because that'll make things a little easier. Can I me. include like Wes Welker? I feel like he, he is not. He's like um, such a utility guy, though, man. I love He never him. lined up in the backfield. Um, Maybe once or twice. We had a guy... Um, uh, not Amendola. That's yeah. also a wide receiver. He's a wide receiver. Golly, all I know is wide receivers. Help me. <laughs> um, um, I don't remember. I know Zach Zenner from Detroit. He's like a third string. I know Rex Burkhead. He's, he's not. Rex he's not Burkhead. that good. There you go. Um, he does this thing. Oh, oh, the fullback that was uh, on the cover of uh, Madden for for, uh, for Cleveland. He played in Cleveland. He was incredible. Oh, Peyton, he made Peyton all pro. Hillis. Peyton, Peyton Hillis. Peyton oh Hillis. man, that guy for a yeah, while. Peyton Hillis. For like a uh, whole ten months, he had the world shook. Who else was that? Yeah, Mike Allstar back in the day. Shout out work done. Yep. Um. Uh, man, this is actually a little more difficult. Yeah, than that's very <laughs> difficult. So shout out to them, man. He, he's he's holding down a a, a dying breed. That's all I remember, man. I, Peyton Hillis for me was. Yeah. Oh, oh, I already said that. Now. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, so yeah, that's a tough one. Shout out yeah. to white running backs, Christian McCaffrey. You're definitely doing your thing. Mm -hmm. You will have CTE in two years. You're getting seventy eight thousand yeah, carries and just, touches it's, a game. Man, it's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. We gonna move right along. <clears throat> oh man, who's the best team in the NFL? Not the Patriots. 
<laughs> if it's not the Patriots, honestly, I like what I've seen from San Francisco. I'm not a Niners fan, but I like it. Anytime you have a, you know, more than capable defense, that's yep. where the ball starts for me. I like what I see. The Rams, they embarrass them. Uh, they trashed Cleveland. Um, Don't do that. Yeah. I like what I see from that defense. Um, and their offense is not bad. Jimmy Garoppolo, obviously, he's managing games. He doesn't have to try yep, hard. Yep, 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 um, yep. For me, Niners number one. Green Bay number two. Oh, shout out Aaron Rodgers. Green Bay number Let's two. Go. Shout out Matt LaFleur, man. That He knows how to coach. I like what I'm seeing from Gee, him. It's been six games. Fair enough. I like what I'm seeing from him, though. All right. They're five and right one. <laughs> All right, so this is a, a, a switch up a little bit. Um, where's Antonio Brown? <laughs> oh, man. That was not expecting that. Uh, yeah, yeah, keep him guessing. Dude, we're going to have him with... I don't, oh, he recently released a, a YouTube video. Doing what? Of Still him in? giving a house tour. And he was showing off his luxury. It's very luxurious. But it's funny. They got to the uh, 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 the business room. And uh, the, the dude, unknowingly, that was getting toured was like, oh, is this where all the contracts were signed? And as you know, in the comment section, they're going in. Lit up. Contracts with like asterisks. So we don't know where he's at. But what mm, we do know. Nobody knows where he's at right now. My man's not in the league. And what are you saying? Are you? I'm not saying. It. Okay, cool. You just not, that's just a statement. That's just what okay. That it is. Oh, that's this factual. Is, this not this in the question's league, not on, on the list. But I hope you're not putting anything behind it. Absolutely not. Okay, good. What I would ask you is, what's the percentage that he ever plays in the league again? That uh, the percentage for me, I would say thirty-five, thirty-five percent chance that's, because okay. he has the talent, which is that thirty percent. And the seventy percent going against him is the case, the the girl's case, yep. and his very erratic behavior. That's He's the seventy percent. He's Trip very weirdo. weird. And then the five percent bonus that he also gets is that from what the Patriots players were crying about him being a good teammate, and they were upset that he was released. So that always works yeah, in your favor. Yeah. Um, you know, so Bob Kraft has, he, Bob Kraft has a questionable past. So when it comes to like weird sexual crimes, he probably has a soft spot. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Facts. Someone move. give that man an award. All right, so this is about a team. It's a simple question. Are the Ravens good? Dude, you are a fire. Are these all yours? Yes. Damn. Uh, I honestly want to know. I want to answer this so I can answer it to myself. I don't know. They started off great, but then again, who did they beat? They beat Miami. They thrashed them, like 60 points. Yeah. Then they won a, another game against, I believe, Arizona. Was yep. it? Yep, close. And then they just like started losing. You know what I mean? Um... They beat Cincinnati. I don't. I don't know. I. You know what I see them as? I see them as a playoff team. If they get into the playoff, they're very. They're. They're, they're going to be trouble in the playoffs. Regular season, I don't think they're good, man. I don't but know. But they got to make the playoffs. And they have to make. I the think playoffs. they will in that division. They're in a, exactly. Yeah. They're in a favorable position. Yeah. I don't even know who's playing quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers at this point. Shout out Cincinnati. AJ Hodges Green is never or coming like back. That, yeah. Uh, shout out Hodges. Shout out my man uh, Mason Rudolph. When they took him out the field, oh he, my had, God. he had the dumbass helmet on. They, they cut they, through he, his face mask, and they just, bro. He's just like, and he just, it was just bad. Google it. Google <laughs> don't, it. Don't Google it. It's not funny, but <laughs> just Google it. Um, But we got one more question. Last but not least, my man AB's been killing this joint. We don't see what it is. Let me take a look real quick. <laughs> Have you ever had a concussion? Now I know you came up with these questions. I know you did. Um, I, I don't know. Do you remember them? I've, I've been hit pretty decent in the head. I've had I, two concussions. Legitimately, I remember both of them very clearly. Oh, well, oh okay, I've had three. That, I've had three. In that case, then no, because I, you know, you know, your boy AB talks a lot. You know, that comes with the territory. You go get hit upside the head once in a while. You got to take it. But um, I never think I've been hit hard enough to say that I've had a concussion. Nope. Nope. All right. Fair enough. This is your boy JG. A B. This is a quick seven on seven. You know, my man claims to know it all. We ran him through the ringer today. He did his thing. Uh, this is exaggeration experience. You know the deal. Like, subscribe. And let us know if you guys have any questions you guys want yes. us to answer. Put that yes. in there. We'll answer them for you. Bell icon for notifications. Before we get out of here, I have a PSA public service announcement. <laughs> guys, we know you're watching the videos. We know this. Don't text my phone. <laughs> don't email me don't text his phone put that shit in the comment section you can text me don't text him we need the interaction youtube got a stupid algorithm and it says cats are not commenting on your shit no one's checking for it 
put the comments down. Or even if you say, you know, this was the dumbest video that I've seen in the last 10 to 15 minutes. Cool. Got it. We'll work on it. But put it in the comment section. Like, dislike, obviously subscribe, bell icon notifications. We out.